Back inside our Dickey Broadcasting Studios here in the Battery, Atlanta, I'm Kevin McAlpin, truest reporter for the fan and the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. It's Tuesday night. We're getting you set for the Braves and the New York Yankees. Game one of a brief two-game interleague series coming up tonight at 7.10 p.m. Eastern from the Bronx. It'll be Tuki Toussaint on the mound for the Braves. Jordan Montgomery, tall left-hander, getting the start for the Yankees. Let's start with the news of the day because when you saw the lineup tweeted middle of the afternoon, Ronald Acuna Jr. was in his familiar leadoff spot. Well, that is not the case. If you missed it just a short time ago, the Braves have scratched Ronald Acuna Jr. with a sore left wrist. He's listed as day-to-day. -day. Now, this is not anything that's been lingering like Ozzy Albies. It's something that popped up here very recently. So the Braves are going to play it safe, get him out of the lineup, and they've mixed some things around here tonight. So Dansby Swanson is actually going to lead off for the Braves here tonight in uh, in Ronald Acuna's absence. And again, if you want to see the updated lineup, go to our Twitter account at 680 fan and get you caught up on all the changes that they have made for the Braves starting nine here tonight. Again, the Braves are continuing this nine-game road trip. Did not go well last night. Of course, for Sean Newcomb, it earned him a trip back to the satellite training facility at Gwinnett. An inning and a third, he was responsible for eight earned runs. And uh, it's been a struggle for Sean Newcomb here in 2020. So the Braves sent him back down to Gwinnett, trying to get him right. After the game last night, Snit said, we still feel like he's going to be a part of this team, whether it's as a starter or a reliever. They still feel like Sean Newcomb has a chance to contribute. Now, I've talked about this on the air today a couple of different times. Newcomb's 27 years old. He's not a kid anymore. He's been in the big leagues for four years. It's disappointing to see what happened with Newcomb, getting this opportunity that he had talked so much about last year, getting back in the Braves' rotation. And after four starts, uh, it, it, that experiment has come to an end. So he's back to AAA to try to get some things right. And the big thing for me, watching him last night, he wasn't able to execute his, his breaking ball. And when you're not able to locate your curveball, opposing hitters can sit on your fastball. And that's exactly what you saw in the first couple innings of last night's contest. Of course, it didn't get much better when Robbie Erlin came in in relief of Newcomb from the bullpen. Gives up a grand slam on the very first pitch he throws as an Atlanta Brave. And of course, the Phillies went on to pile on from there. Yes, the Braves did score seven runs in the ninth inning. It was great to see they went, the way they battled. I've got to think Joe Girardi probably didn't sleep all that well last night, knowing he had a 13-1 to lead going to the ninth, and he had to get Hector Neris, his closer, warming up. So uh, the Braves offense, of course, they did what they do a lot of games. They scored a ton of runs late, but unfortunately that game had already been decided. So if you woke up this morning, you saw 13 to 8, score was a little bit deceiving. That thing had been uh, well in check from pretty much the bottom of the second inning. On the good news for the Braves, congratulations to Nick Markakis, his 500th career double. He's just the 64th player in baseball history with 500 or more doubles. Of course, remember last year he got his 1,000th career RBI as well. He's sneaking up on 2,400 career hits, and uh, Markakis just keeps on going. And he's already had a big-time impact on this team. Of course, the walk-off homer uh, in his uh, first start back, and of course, the, the leadership he brings off the field as well. Uh, so Brian Snicker made it a point to uh, mention how much Nick has meant to this team last night and again today on his Zoom uh, Zoom call before the game. So uh, congratulations to Nick. Of course, Travis Darno keeps on hitting. Great to see him go yard in last night's contest. Really, uh, we heard about that power uh, when the Braves signed him from Alex Anthopoulos, and we've seen that on display, be it in spring training or summer camp or even now to start the regular season. Braves are turning to Tuki Toussaint here in game number one against the Yankees, of course, for Toussaint. Big key for him has been that slider, keeping the ball down, and he's going to have to do that here tonight at Yankee Stadium. We know the ball travels extremely well. I think the dimensions down the line at Yankee Stadium are about 135 feet to left and right. Okay, they're a little bit more than that, but these Yankees hitters certainly like hitting in a very hitter-friendly ballpark in the Bronx. So big key for Tukey, keep the ball down, continue to work on that slider, pound the zone, and, and paint the corners with that fastball, and we'll see if Tukey can build off the success he accomplished last time out. For Jordan Montgomery, speaking of long balls, he has been susceptible to the home run ball the last couple of seasons. Again, it hurts not having Acuna in the lineup, but the Braves offensively have been hitting the ball hard here the last uh, four or five games, so hopefully that will translate to some success here tonight against the tall left-hander. He's 6'6", 225. He's tall, he's lean, he looks the part when he's on the mound. But again, susceptible to leaving the ball up in the zone. And in that ballpark, that can be a recipe for trouble. Jim Powell and Joe Simpson, they've got the call for you coming up right here on The Fan and the Braves Radio Network at 7, 10 p.m. Eastern. Then stick around immediately following. I'll have the Hyundai Post Game Show for you on the Braves Radio Network, followed by a Braves Wrap-Up right here locally in Atlanta on 680 The Fan. So lots of baseball coming your way tonight. And hopefully we're talking about a Braves W when all is said and done.